Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And we're going to talk about uh, this article, which is saying, hey, stop blaming machines because algorithms aren't causing all the wild stock market swings. So in case you're wondering what the what algorithm algorithms that they're talking about, there is this thing called uh, fast trading, and you can do a search uh, or, or high frequency trading, HFT. You can search for videos on this, but basically there are these computer programmers that write these sophisticated uh, algorithm programs that will within seconds it's it scans the whole market <clears throat> and it will buy and sell um very very quickly and there are competing um competing companies that have these high frequency trading which causes when when you have things happening so quickly it moves the market uh, really, really fast upwards or really, really fast downwards. There's no way that all the traders around the world are communicating that quickly with each other. There's just no way. There's no way that any single person can scan the whole market at once and say, oh, I need to buy here, 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 here. There's just no way. There's There, there just is no way to actually do that i mean you must have like maybe a thousand monitors or something around you that that has um you know each of the different uh companies you know stocks or whatever where you know you're going in oh, okay buy 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 and that and that would assume that there are thousands of other traders that have the same setup they don't it's ridiculous and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. They're trying to say, oh, algorithms are not causing this um, market that's going like this. And I disagree. They just don't they just don't want you to believe the truth. All right. So, yes, it's the Terminator. It's all it's all run by Skynet. Anyway, <clears throat> big fund managers tend to blame algorithmic trading when things go haywire in the stock market but there are other factors adding complexity to this argument a boom in desperate trading platforms makes price discovery difficult and low trading volume uh, blah 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 no machines are causing these wild market swings okay I'm going to show you something here this is going to be the S&P all right so look at this right here you see this i mean this is in in incredible right here but this comeback right up here was like the um they're saying like the biggest point gain in history and they're trying to say that these falls here and this gain here is not done by machines. Yeah, well, I'm going to debunk that. <laughs> so it says the wild swings and seesawing of markets these last few days was unprecedented in many ways, but one aspect of the week ended up being very predictable. Like clockwork after any sudden jolt and market event, big investors come out and point the finger at algorithms. The argument goes something like this. Electronic trading programs feed off each other to cause an invisible herding effect that amplifies price moves capable of turning a minor downward market trajectory into a full-blown bloodbath, all in a matter of milliseconds. Now that electronic trading makes up huge swaths of the market, a sea change from only a few decades ago, it's obvious that robot traders are causing the plunges and rallies like those of this week. Um, let's see. And then they talk about a couple people that are blaming the market. Uh, again and again, market structure experts have pushed back against this oversimplified narrative, but much of the counterbalance is seldom noticed, blah, blah, blah. 
Uh, but there are plenty of holes to poke in this theory. For one, as trading news sites uh, like Croatia, never heard of them, linking the increase of the machines to the rise in volatility doesn't even work from a timing standpoint. The hell it does! Who are they kidding? All right, so I'm not going to read the rest of this, but I'm going to show you exactly what I am talking about here. All right, so here you've got the S&P. All right, I am going to zoom in to the past couple of days here um, when the market was shot up. So this is, okay, sorry, that's December 28. But you got December 26, 27 and 28. I'm just going to zoom in here. Okay, so that, that's a big, huge uh, upward here. This is the S&P overall, all right? Now, you're not going to be able to tell me that a um, whole bunch of traders... We're all jumping in on the bandwagon here. I mean, maybe somewhere up here they were. But how did everybody know that right here was the point to buy? How did they know? There's, there's no way. But, okay, I'm not done. Here are the FANG stocks. All right, this is Facebook right here. Amazon, Netflix, Google. Do you see something in common? They all went up at the same time. And you're going to tell me that human traders all knew to buy at this point, at this exact point. Now, you may say, well, that's just the tech sector. Okay, well, <laughs> here's Apple. Here is United Continental Airlines. Here is Chevron Corporation, here's Pepsi, and here's McDonald's. Wow, look what they do all at the same time. Huh. Let's go further. Disney, Walmart, Target, Bank of America, or sorry, that's Boeing, Caterpillar. All right, these are not all, all techs here. Let me, I'm going to make myself disappear here for a moment. Okay, take a look at that. Look at this. They all go up at the same time. You're going to tell me human traders looking at all the different sectors are all buying at the same time. How do they know to all buy right here? I mean, do they like call each other up and say, hey, uh, maybe we should buy uh, right here at this point. Uh, 1,500 hours. Yeah, let's all buy in at this point. No, man. I'm sorry. This is computer algorithmic trading. Because the computers can scan the market like that. Quicker than any human possibly can. It will look for buying opportunities. And it, it puts those buy orders in and sell orders in very, very, very quickly quickly enough for them all to be in sync just like this just like this just like that just like that <laughs> and they want to and they want to have you believe that the computer algorithmic trading is not causing this sorry i'm not convinced when i see that when I, when I see the stuff that I just showed you, either it's a conspiracy of a whole bunch of traders that are, you know, that are all communicating with each other, telling each other to buy at one certain point, or it's done by computers. Okay, I'm going to believe the computer part. And if you watch, like I said, look up videos on high frequency trading, HFT. You'll be surprised what you find. I mean, literally, like at the beginning of the day, within within a few seconds, they've got like thousands, thousands of trades already 
already placed already placed and in some cases sold i mean we're talking like so many shares bought and then sold within seconds that brings in a lot of money crazy amount of money for these high frequency traders so i i i just i don't believe that article there are some articles that try to say oh no we still got many years to go in this bull market it's bull something <laughs> I wouldn't call it a bull market, but it's definitely bull something. <laughs> I mean, th there are some that are saying, yeah, we're in a bear market. Yes, we are, are, are in a bear market. We've we, Technically, the market has to drop to 20% in order for it to be termed a bear market, which it did. Um, and then there are some that are saying, oh, we're close, but no, it didn't happen. Yes, it did. Yes, it did happen. Um and they're trying to make this out like, oh, this is just a long uh, period of correction. Really? Huh. Well, let's kind of go back in time here a little bit. Okay, this right here. Okay, well, that looks like a possible correction. I mean, it did come back up. Oh, uh, let's, let's, let's see here. Well, that, that looks like a pullback. That's probably a, a slight correction. Okay, here we go. Here are two corrections. Is this a bear market? Well, no, it climbed back up where it was, fell back down, retested, climbed back up, and you know, and it kept going up. So yeah, these are corrections. You know, here's one right here. Uh, this is a little minor one. Of course, we're not zoomed in all the way. Oh, look, uh, here's one. Here's a correction, okay. But, this is 2008 right here when they claim this is a bull market now look at this and now look at this it wasn't a correction back in 2008 <laughs> you're gonna tell me this is a correction <laughs> don't let these news articles fool you the bull market is over okay will it restart sure the thing is, is that these these idiotic um news places which are fake news whatever um they will have you believe that nope everything's fine bull market's still going to go on and make you think that now's a good time to start throwing your money into the market don't don't let them mess with you okay no the bull market is over now with that said how long is the bear market going to last it might last a month or two and then climb right back up you know it might climb up in january and continue going up from there or this bear market could be lasting the next several years there's no way to know. But don't let these people try to fool you into thinking that everything is fine and you can start throwing your money into the market because everything's going to go back up next year. It might, but don't... Just be aware of what's going on. And don't throw all your money in there. If you've got stocks that you like, Walmart, McDonald's, EA you know, games, whatever, you know, buy a couple shares. I mean, now's a good time to buy shares, sure. Is now a good time to start throwing, you know, all your money into the market? No. no. But if you want to buy like two or three shares of this company and that company, you know, to add to your portfolio, sure, why not? I mean, I bought some shares. I bought shares of Famous Dave's. Um, it's a restaurant. Uh, but I only bought five. <laughs> all i bought i just bought five if the market goes down I'll, I'll buy some more but um but as far as buying a whole bunch of stocks don't do it be careful okay 
start off with a few. The market goes down, no problem. Buy a few more, but don't throw all your money into the market. Don't let these people try to convince you that bull market's fine. We still got a few years to go. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them fool you into thinking that machines are not the reason for this market volatility. That's crap. It is. I just showed you. There's no way that humans all over the country and all over the world are all buying at the same exact freaking time in all the different sectors. How they all know to buy at a certain point. No way. I don't believe it. If that is the case, then let me in on the secret so that way I can buy at the same time as all these other traders. I'd like to know. <laughs> and if you can't tell me, then it's a bunch of BS. Anyway, that is, uh, that's all I've got for this rambling session. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, all right? If I'm way off base, if I am totally wrong, let me know in the comments and tell me why, all right? Just don't say that you know what you're talking about. No, you're wrong. Tell me why, okay? That's why I have these videos. They are rambling sessions for me to ramble about things that I see, but also to get feedback from you, all right? If I'm wrong, I'll admit it, all right? I'll own up to it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But you guys got to tell me. You got to tell me that, yeah, you're wrong. Here's why you're wrong. Or if I'm right, say, yeah, you're right. I've noticed the same thing. So let me know, okay? Don't be afraid to uh, leave some comments for me. All right. Other than that, I'll see you on the next rambling video. If you enjoyed my rambling videos, well, then I hope you enjoy these. I make these from time to time on a variety of topics, depending on what inspires me. Hope to see you around, and thanks for watching.